How's it going? I'm KB and I love movies. For this video, I'm going to review the movies that I watched in the month of May. Can't believe it's already June. Wow. Anyway, um, I spent most of the month focusing on two challenges. First one was Nathan Jones ABC challenge. And basically for that, you just watch something off your shelf that you haven't seen before and you match the letters A through Z for each title. Um, that took most of the month. Um, and I also participated in mid-level media's A Month of Hitchcock. So uh, for that, I kind of incorporated it into the ABC challenge and I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to break up the video so that there's only A through, let's say, M for this one. And then I'll do N through Z in another video. But before I start that, I'm going to get into movies besides the challenge that I was able to see, starting with in the theater. Like everyone else, I went to see Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and I was able, I think I saw that twice, yeah. And also, another movie I saw twice, more recently, was Top Gun Maverick. Uh, that's definitely worth seeing at least once in the theater if you could get out to see it. And from A24, I was able to go see an early showing of the movie Men. Yeah, that's a freaky movie. <laughs> but it is a good visual representation of what toxic masculinity looks like in different people, in different walks of life, at different stages of life. That's my quick review there. Besides that, I was able to check out a few Blu-rays and 4Ks, starting with one that came this week, which was The Police Around the World. This is actually a CD and also Blu-ray set. And this was a VHS tape that I had as a teenager. And it was really nice to see that they released it as a Blu-ray. And it's a little edited, about two minutes edited, but the majority of the 77 minute video is there, including all the performances. So that was pretty cool. Based on a recommendation of Jeff over at Films at Home, I went and I picked up the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, it's a Blu-ray steelbook and surprisingly, as much as I love slashers and all that other stuff, I've never seen this movie. I've never seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it was really nice to watch it for the first time and try to figure out what everyone loved about it, but it was pretty cool. From Kino Lorber, and I've covered this in another video, I was able to watch A Fistful of Dollars and for a few dollars more. So the Man With No Name or the Dollars trilogy is now complete if you already have The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. On HBO Max, I was also able to see Halloween Kills. I know it's not October or any creepy time of year, but it was something my wife wanted to see finally, so we just popped it on on a Saturday, interrupting my ABC challenge, but I was okay with that. Talking about the ABC challenge, let's get into it. I'm not going to show everything. Uh, I'll pop up a poster for some of them because I really didn't feel like pulling all these movies again. Anyway, we're going to start with A. And for A, I watched Anatomy of a Murder. This is from the Columbia Classics Volume 2 set, and it was pretty cool. Um, I'd seen pieces of this, like on TCM and all that, but never seen the whole thing, so it was cool to finally watch it. I was also able to watch Blackmail. Blackmail is Hitchcock's first talkie, uh, making a transition from silent films to uh, talking pictures. And the genius thing is he released it both ways. He released it as a silent film and also as a talkie and let audiences decide. From the British International Pictures Collection, 
I was able to watch two of them, including Champagne and also The Manxman to skip ahead to M. So C is for Champagne. For D, I watched Dial M for Murder. And this is another one I've seen over the years on TCM, never catching it from the beginning. But now that I have this great four film Warner Archive collection, four great movies as far as I'm concerned, um, especially The Wrong Man, I love that movie. But I'd never seen the complete Dial M for Murder, so it was pretty cool to check it out. What am I up to? I have my letterbox here. Once again, if you don't have a letterbox, you might want to go and get one. It's a great way to catalog your movies and also keep a diary and follow as you go along. So let's see. Oh, another D movie that I watch. I got to skip ahead here. Even though it says The Lodger, I was able to watch Downhill, which is also on here. Forgot about that. So D is for Downhill. E. E is for Enchanted. And I have seen this before. I have this mental block between Enchanted and Ella Enchanted. And I keep saying, I've never seen Enchanted, but I have seen Enchanted. I've never seen Ella Enchanted. So maybe I'll get around to that one day. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Ooh. F. Ah. F is for Frenzy. I have it as part of my Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection. I'm not going to open it up again, but right now that's the best quality that you can watch Frenzy in. Um, I also watch Family Plot from this collection, which is now available on Volume 2 of the 4K Alfred Hitchcock Collection. Um, it's whatever. Those two movies. Frenzy is better than Family Plot. I'll say that much. Next one, I finally opened my copy of The Green Knight on 4K that I got. I think I got this on Black Friday, but I finally opened this up. Let's see. For H, I cracked the plastic on my copy of the documentary Hitchcock Truffaut. I've seen this before. I've presented on this before for film class, but it was nice to crack the plastic and go through it, especially the Q&A portion in special features. For I, that's going back to the four film collection from Warner Archive. And for this one, I watched I Confess. I is for I Confess. Let's see. Ah, J. J is one of my favorites. I was able to open up the 4K Steelbook of Juice, one of my favorites. And I just wanted to see the transfer and also if they had any new uh, special features on this one because I've seen it many times. So a little bit different than the way Nathan Jones set up his ABC challenge. He went for all movies that he'd never seen before. I'm just going for the ones that I may not have cracked the plastic on. So that's my version. K is for Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Another movie that I've seen on streaming services here and there. I like Robert Downey Jr., but I've never seen the whole movie, so I was able to enjoy that. Um, very weird, dark comedy, but I, I did enjoy it. L is for The Lodger, another Alfred Hitchcock movie from 1927, the early days. For M, as I mentioned, I watched The Manxman. I also watched... Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So, uh, two Hitchcock movies, completely different. I would say that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is just a little bit better than The Manxman, but we'll leave it at that. 
And talking about leaving it at that, I'm going to cut it off right here. And for the next video, we're going to go N through Z. I might even mention some of the uh, pickups that I did for the month of May. So if you like this one, go ahead and leave a like. Also, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Subscribing is the best way to find out when I post a new video. And it definitely helps me as well. I like to see the numbers go up just to know that you're out there watching. So if you can do that, please do. And until next time or next video, go watch a movie.